called a pioneer who changed the greater South Bend community. Ernestine Racklin has passed away at the age of 95. She was the youngest daughter of E.M. Morris of the Morris Inn and the Morris Performing Arts Center. Mark Peterson joins us now in the studio with a closer look at her incredible life. Mark. Ernestine Racklin spent more than 20 years running the bank her father created in countless hours, serving the needs of others through her philanthropy. She spoke about it in the PBS documentary, Leaving the Way. Racklin was named Ernestine by a father who saw her and raised her as the son he never had. It's perhaps fitting she went on to chair First Source Bank. Her life was filled with firsts. She was the first woman to serve on the Notre Dame Board of Trustees, the first woman to sit on the local and then the national board of United Way. I can remember coming home after my first meeting and I said to Mike, my wonderful husband, I said, he said, well, how'd you enjoy it? I said, oh, scared to death. He said, had the head of Xerox, the head of General Motors, all these big wigs, and here I am, a midget. <laughs> when you lose those icons, uh, you know, from your community, it's it, it really a, uh, a couple things. One, a chance to reflect on, on the great things that she did to influence our community over time. But two, uh, it really a thought of, like, gosh, when we don't have the... Ernestine Racklins of the world anymore. Who are who are the next generation who are who who she's inspired to go out and, and make a real difference here in our community? Racklin was a fierce supporter of the arts who kept giving until the end. Her name will appear on the new art museum under construction on the Notre Dame campus. She was a co-founder of Michiana Public Television and the Stanley Clark School. And I just love to see the the pollination, the cross pollination of Elkhart and South Bend and Mishawaka. And I'm so glad I live in the Midwest. I'm so glad I live in South Bend. And, uh, and I love our area. It's real. The people are real. Racklin grew up riding a horse named Irish. She considered Father Hesburgh a big brother. Father Jenkins issuing a written statement calling her a transformative benefactor. And by the way, WNIT will rebroadcast Racklin's documentary, Leading the Way, next week. An incredible life. Mark Peterson helping us to remember and celebrate the life of a woman who helped shape Michiana. Mark, thank you for that tonight. And she will be greatly missed by all of the South Bend Michiana community. We'll be right back.